We will be able to raise a decent amount of money, a significant amount of money, but quite frankly, we're not going to have as much money as some of the others. They're going to have a lot of money, and therefore we have to make up, make it up with, uh, make up with it uh, for, with, with, uh, with the energy that we have. And uh, money is very important, but there's been some candidates who have had a lot of money, a lot of their own money, and then win elections. So that's far from it. But I am absolutely convinced the need for our message, I'm absolutely convinced our message is correct economically and on foreign policy and monetary policy, personal liberties. I mean, what other candidate in the Republican Party is talking about personal liberty? Why, why are Republicans and conservatives not supposed to talk about personal liberties? They might throw that term out there, but I'm, I'm, I'm uh, very specific about that. Your life is your own, the government ought to stay out of your life, and we don't need a patriot. Act. brought to the floor, we said hardly any time to debate it, and it was up on the floor an hour or two, and, and, it, was, and it was passed. It was called the Patriot Act, I was sitting beside another member, and I had a chance to do a little review, but obviously couldn't read it all. A lot of that material was floating around for a long time. They were looking for the opportunity to pass a Patriot Act. So I said, do you know what's in this? You know, there's some things here that look bad. Why are you voting for it? He said, how, how can I go home? to my people under these circumstances after 9-11 and tell them I didn't vote for the Patriot Act. And I said, well, why don't you go home and explain it to them? That's what you ought to do. <laughs> Like uh, if they would have called it a resolution to repeal the Fourth Amendment. How many people have heard it? And actually, it's pretty close to that. It really has undermined it. it. They pay lip service to the Fourth Amendment, and that was one of the things the revolution was fought about: is, is to have uh, our privacy. We have a society today where the secrecy of government is protected and your privacy mean nothing. We need to reverse that. We need to know yeah. everything that's happening with the government. has to be protected because that's in essence what liberty is all about it is privacy of course there's one rule you can have your privacy you can have your life you can make take your life and be very productive or you can be destructive but you can't meddle in other people's lives or other people's property and it works if you do it. There's been a lot of talk, of course, these last several months. Uh, they should have been talking about it for the last several decades, uh, like yeah. a few of us have, but on the deficit and the debt. The debt is the big bugaboo about the economy because if any one of us, or if we have a business that we're overly indebted, we don't have any more credit, and we're just barely paying the interest, you can't get growth. It's impossible to have growth until you do something about your debt. You either have to pay it off, spend less, get another job, sell off your assets, or whatever. And that is what our country has refused to do. We've been refusing to do that and make the corrections that the market demands ever since the Depression. The Depression actually lasted 17 years. And this one's going now on quite a few years, and Japan's in the doldrum because politically they don't want you to face up to the truth. And the truth is, our country is bankrupt. And we should admit it, and we should take care of the debt. I believe, and I worked for the goal of paying it off and working our way out of it. Conceivably and theoretically, you can do it, but it is really, really tough. They have no intention on paying it off, and they were going to pretend, well, we will never default on our debt. Like, we will always send them a check. Their plan is to default on the debt by destroying the currency, which destroys the middle class, and that is why this monetary issue is so vital.
so the success of this campaign is very, very important. I think it, it is the test, the litmus test in this modern day uh, argument for the restorations of our liberty. So there's a lot at stake. And of course, I am going to do everything I can do, conceivably, physically, and mentally, to promote our cause. But I do want you to know that I get my energy and my enthusiasm from people like you who believe this way. Because it is, every once in a while I'll get in a crowd and they'll come up and they'll say, well, they'll have a question that's very detailed about free market banking. Are you going to have fractional reserves or will somebody be able to do something else? I, well, this is the kind of question I hope someday we're really resolving, you know, exactly what, how you do it in the free market. But uh, th th this, is, um, this is our opportunity. I don't see it as the end of what's happening. But I also know that if we're not successful, it's not going to be very good. Uh, I think the movement has to continue. We have to continue to improve what we're doing. And with the success, there is hope that we're going to achieve this. And, you know, we got into this mess by not following the Constitution. Why shouldn't we just only send individuals to Washington that know and understand, can read it, and only send those who believe in following the Constitution? That has been said that an idea whose time has come, you can't stop it with bullets or anything else. And our ideas and our beliefs in, in, in freedom, our time has come. We've had a taste of it. Our country's had a taste of it. We've had it for a long time. We've been, we have had it eroded now for nearly 100 years. So we're at the point now where we're not producing. The jobs are gone. The money is eroded. The foundations are gone. But we know what built the country, we know what freedom is all about, and that is but what's been revived. And with our effort, you know, I will take the interviews I get. If they call me up next week and they give me five interviews on Sunday morning, I'm going to do it. But you know what? In this day and age, they're not as relevant as they think they are. <laughs> Enthusiasm, we have the rightness of our cause, and we have that other little gadget called the internet for spreading. Yeah. So, I want to close by just once again thanking everybody for coming out and thanking you for encouraging me because and, and expressing your belief and conviction that we're on the right track and freedom is far better than tyranny, and that's what I vote for. Thank you. Thank you.